Hi, my name is Hatika Azim Binti Azmi. My matric number is 190018. Hi, my name is Nulayla Amirah Binti Muhammad Zaini and my matric number is 190136. Hi, my name is Nahatia Binti Man Fauzi. My matric number is 190160. My name is Nur Izzati Binti Muhammad. My matric number is 187408. My name is Aina Bila Binti Shokman. My matric number is 188380. Today, we're going to talk about what? About uh, the... Food instances, uh, the public to use the public transport. Mm. Public transport. Yeah, public transportation. So, um, okay, I read an article on the internet that um, a former mayor of Bogota, Colombia, said um, a developed country is not a place where the poor have cars. It's where the rich use public transportation. But we're not really, we're just still a developing country. We're not de developed. So what do you think people will get by using public transportation? The advantages or the disadvantages? Uh, I think that, uh, as we know that our country is uh, on economic crisis. Yeah. Okay, uh, I think that if <coughs> we use public transport, we can uh, save our money. Uh, because uh, as we know that public transport is more uh, cheapest than uh, if we use our own car mm -hmm. uh, to buy, we have to buy petrol and mm -hmm. we have to uh, service our car if uh, if we are for the maintenance. Yes. Uh, okay. How are you? In my opinion, I think uh, using public transport can reduce the traffic jam. Especially when uh, in the morning uh, and in the evening when the people uh, want to go to for work, school and so on. Uh, so by using public transport, it can reduce the amount of vehicle on the road. And uh, one bus can save from um, around 50 cars, one train can save from 600 people. So by using public transport, uh, it's a good uh, for our uh, for our environment. Okay, as you both were saying, uh, when we use a uh, public transport, it can help us to uh, save money, right? And also uh, avoid traffic congestion. Yeah. Um, but uh, for your uh, point you said uh, we can save money uh, for using public transportation rather than having our own vehicles for the uh, petrol and maintenance but uh, if a regular user of uh, public transport uh, uh, for example the KTM the fare is quite high actually if we use it every day don't you think so? We can uh, make cut Oh, as a student, we have a student card. But and if oh. the uh, people who are using it is uh, for work, for work uh, yeah. they don't have the uh, student, student discount. Yeah. The concession is not mm -hmm. the same. Uh, so uh, maybe for students, they will get more benefits because uh, they can get 50% uh, discount if they make the card. But what if uh, the person is the worker? It's a dog. Uh, adult without uh, the student status or uh, older citizen status uh, yeah. then the fare would be quite, quite high, high if we use every day yeah, because uh, lately, lately because of the economic crisis like what Sarah said uh, the ticket fare or ticket price has been increasing actually yeah. right? so I agree with you um, um, we actually experience a long wait uh, at the origin stop for example like uh, at the bus station, we have to wait like 10 to 20 minutes before early before we're going to for the bus uh, arrive. Uh, so if the bus is running late, uh, all of the passengers will be like uh, late to the work, whether they're going to work or school. And uh, not to mention the train, uh, it's also like uh, still the same. I mean, like the schedule is not the, the arrival schedule is not uh, uneven, and the. Um, the system breakdown, the uh, the deletion. So this is unacceptable for those who are busy with their schedule.
Mm-hmm. It is the same for uh, when you are having traffic jam. Many people using many cars. So uh, you still but have to wait for a long time to work. go to work. So you're saying you prefer the your own vehicle? vehicle yeah. Than for transportation? Yeah, I think I disagree with her because uh, if we, if you say uh, we want to avoid uh, traffic jam when we use public transport, why we want to avoid uh, traffic jam? Because we want we do not want to be late. But if the uh, public transport itself is late, then we <laughs> of course we also uh, be late. We can we okay, could also so be late. Then what's the point? If it's for me, I I don't really need the the usual public transportation like trains or buses. I usually use the bus. What do you guys? What do you guys always use? call as public transport, right? Yeah. Still, you have to face the jam con- traffic condition. But yeah. it says Uber is everywhere, and for me, it's not mine. So I don't have to think about the petrol or the maintenance. I just have to call it and pay for the fare. It's cheaper. The the drivers are friendly. Very nice. So I like Uber. How about the safety net? I mean, we yeah, don't know. Don't even know mm-hmm. about the passenger, uh, the driver. Mm-hmm. It's just. Um, human on, like, and I think usually lah, ninety percent, one hundred percent. My my experience with Uber drivers are nice so far. <laughs> okay, fingers crossed. I, I am partially agree with you because uh, sometimes the pro- the driver itself. Have problems because um at the last minute they can ah, yeah. uh, uh, not it's not us who who are who are cancelling the booking but uh the driver itself so uh when we are dealing with human being uh sometimes um uh, sometimes yeah, I have experienced that uh, yes. yeah yeah but um luckily the other driver are there also so they exchange it so you. So if they don't have like any backup really plan or something, yeah. but they don't have any driver one, so mm-hmm. how do we? Uh-huh. Because sometimes uh, uh, <laughs> we book our if we book if we Uber, uh, we may be late because they have to drop off another okay. passenger, yeah. and we also late for uh, to go to our destination. I'm not really because where I'm living, where I am now, there are many people. Because I use it uh, using Grab, so uh, I face that problem. Oh, different. Because an Uber is a different yeah. Grab. Yeah. Different. Yeah. Different. 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 But still the same. Uh, you just say uh, if you don't have any other alternative, you just use a taxi. Mm-hmm. It is you. But uh, when it comes to the phones, it's actually is that the person who have high income will use the public transport. Normally, people who have intermediate to low income will use it. So they will then make the taxi as a major option for to go to work. It is also pricey. Oh yes, very expensive. We're saying, how about flights? How about <laughs> trains, bus? That that we use <laughs> if the the destination we're going is too far, like too far. Right. One get one thousand get more. But the train has a lot of station means mm-hmm. that they will going to stop. Frequently, so it's going to consume a lot of time. Mm-hmm. So for those who, work, who are workers, uh, so it's not suitable for them, I think. Uh, I disagree. I, I agree with you because uh, another problem uh, for public transport, uh, especially uh, the train, is the frequency. Uh, mm-hmm. Because uh, not we cannot get uh, the train to arrive uh, every five minutes or every yeah. ten minutes. The train usually. The frequency is usually uh, 30 to 1 hour, 30 minutes to 1 hour, so it might cause uh, even more burden to the person who have to wait long and then the train does not run. Uh, so I don't think the system of uh, the public transport in Malaysia especially is efficient enough yeah. for us to be encouraged to use it more. Oh, you're talking about KTM, right? Yeah, train, LRT. Yeah. 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 Um, kind of. Uh, yeah. I think, but still, at the peak hour, 
Mm. It wouldn't it wouldn't, it wouldn't be efficient at the peak hour. Like okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe some some public transport have no problem or on the schedule, but uh, most the of them uh, have problem. Yeah. Rapid yeah. KL bus, yeah. uh, KTM. Yeah. Yeah. It's so hard to see. Even, even see uh, even in our rapid KL uh, bus from UPM to UPM. Also, UPM. our bus is not uh, yes. on time. <laughs> yeah. UPM buses is also a great example <laughs> for lateness. First, we have to take a like to take a transit. I mean, from the KTM, we have to transit with the yeah. LRT and then take the rapid because it wouldn't. Using the public transport, it wouldn't send us to the exact location. But because we, uh, when we are using our own vehicle, it will just exactly where we want to go, right? So, mm-hmm. yeah. Sometimes, uh, to transit from one station to one station actually takes more time than we when we are trapped in the traffic jam. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, eventually, when we are trapped in the traffic jam, but with our own vehicle, we can straight away uh, yeah. reach our destination. Yeah. But with a uh, public transport, and then we have to, to take go a from yeah. one station to one station, then to walk. It's yeah. quite frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> I really don't like public transport. I, I don't. <laughs> actually, I don't say that I don't like because I am a regular use, user of uh, public transport because I don't have my own vehicle. But then, <coughs> I'm pointing out the problems that I have yeah. to face yeah. every time I use the public actually, transport. How about the environment? by vehicles. Nowadays we are having global warming, right? Mm-hmm. So uh, if there are a lot of vehicles on the roads, it means it uh, affects us. It means uh, your carbon opinion. dioxide. Yeah. Uh, maybe we have that on carbon mm-hmm. dioxide. And at least if we use public transportation like trains or buses, it will reduce this. You got your point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that point, I agree with that point. See, but um, another problem, like uh, with the time, yeah. I can't really hand- handle with it because it's really unbearable. Yeah. Yeah. When we wait, it's yeah. also hot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which is hot and it's humid. Good. So Maybe it's good for the environment, but it's it's not good for the emotion <laughs> of a human. <laughs> yes. <laughs> emotion, yes. It's important. don't think about uh, to find money for what? Uh, fair, uh, yes, for fair. So your parent is giving you money and uh, and you ha- uh, you don't have to what? Uh, if if you uh, have to find your own money, you uh, have to um, what? You have to think about another another no, no. Uh, you have if you um what, what I want to say if like this um ah uh, yes about spending your money so uh, oh. if you have to uh you uh, you don't like to use public transport you have no choice if you don't have money so um what no How you still I? have to use the public yes. transport. Even oh. the fact is high. Oh. Uh, uh, if uh, as, a, as a student, uh, you don't have to um, think about money to 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 pay for. Uh, uh, this is because uh, you you don't have other responsibility. Yes. Um, you don't have other other choice. Uh, something. Like I wish I can fly. <laughs> <laughs> I guess uh, we can conclude that um, maybe yes, uh, people should be encouraged to use public transport because of um, for the sake of the environment to avoid uh, pollution and sort of. So uh, the problem is only on the uh, efficiency of the system. Mm-hmm. So uh, yes, yeah. so um, people might. Oh. 
should be uh, encouraged to be to use public transport, but the system that uh, should be improved. Yeah. So the uh, government and the uh, authorities, the uh, another uh, organisation, the the company of the public transport itself, they have to uh, take an action and improve their system. Also for kids, you want to see um, the woman. Even though the government has already set a coach for the women, but it's still not enough. The ratio of the women to the men mm. in Malaysia is too high. Mm. <laughs> so we're going to say we agree or not agree. Yes. We encourage all the government. We would encourage we, them to. We agree to encourage people, but right. the, uh, the, government the government and the specific should organization improve. Yeah. should improve should the system. Improve. I think that's, that's all. all from us. That yeah. is all from us. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.